So I've got an X10, it's running 1.6, and I'm just going to show you how to update to the new 2.1.1 and uh, how to root it using super one click because uh, Z4 root no longer works. So to start off, uh, Binary has released a new flash tool. Um, this flash tool includes root, includes XP recovery, BusyBox, and a whole bunch of uh, new options. So download this new flash tool. If you can't uncompress it, download WinRAR. Um, this is a different, uh, j just a different tool to create uh, compressed files because it's more efficient than zip. So download WinRAR. Um, once you've installed the flash tool and unzipped everything, uh, you'll need to go download the firmwares. So just go download whatever firmware you want. Uh, in this case, I've got 2.1.1 for the X10A. Uh, there's also the regular 2.1. Uh, just a note, if you go to 2.1.1, you can't go back to 2.1. So once you go to 2.1.1, it's uh, permanent. The only way to go back is to go back to 1.6 and then upgrade again. So we're just going to go to 2.1.1. So click X10 Flash Tool to run it. It's going to pop up. Uh, just hit Connect and there's a whole new bunch of prompts and options. So X10. It's going to tell you to connect the phone in flash mode. So what I do is pull the battery, plug in this end, and before you do that, if you're using Vista or 7, make sure you turn off user account control. And when you run X10 flash, make sure you're running it as administrator should have said that earlier, sorry. So run as administrator. So plug it in. Hold the back button and then put in the battery. Green light will come on and then hit OK on the computer. So it'll find the Xperia and flash the loader file. Uh, some people are downloading firmwares that didn't have the loader file. Um, that's also in the description. So everything you need to download is always in the description. So now click on flash. And I've got the two different firmwares. We're going to use 2.1.1. Make sure you wipe data. So before you do this, uh, back up your data. Use titanium or use SMS backup and restore. And those are also in the description. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to start flashing. And I'm just going to start up a stopwatch. So this takes about uh, three and a half minutes. Okay, so now that it's done, unplug your phone and start it up. I'm just going to skip all this setup and just show you how to root the phone. So as you can see, it's now running 2.1.1. Uh, .1. Go into about, and it's 2.1. Update one. So now you can't use a Z4 root, so we're going to use a Super One Click. So to use that, you have to go into Settings. Applications, turn on unknown sources, go into development, and turn on USB debugging. So once you've done that, 
download super one click again it's in the description uh, 1.5.5 click on super one click to start it up right click and run as administrator again so once that starts up click on root and it will ask you to plug in your phone so plug in the phone it will detect it if it keeps looping and can't install the software it says uh, unplug and un install it again but it's uh, installing and it's successful and run going to run a command to test to make sure the phone is rooted and it's done so once you've rooted your phone it will install super user and you'll need to install busybox um, and then you can install all, all the other applications uh, rooting does not make the market free. Uh, that would be a huge security hole and obviously that isn't what it's for. Rooting allows you to remove applications um, such as such as Moxier. It allows you to install uh, other themes, other fonts. It allows you to install Barnacle Wi-Fi Tether. Uh, so that's what rooting does. It doesn't unlock your phone. You have to buy an unlock code for that. And that's how you root 2.1.1.